what's interesting about esports versus any other um, sort of competitive sport, though, is that literally anybody can play video games. Corinna Miller is a member of the Stinger Esports team, Sacramento State's video gaming club, now a part of the Big Sky Conference. So Sac State came up up with the first League of Legends um, team ever to be uh, sort of accredited into Big Sky for this special championship. And then coronavirus happened. With live games on pause right now, video gaming has new life. Especially with um, the quarantine and, uh, you know, a bunch of people home from school and just stuck. Um, Video games are a really cool way to still be with your friends in an online environment, watch people that you admire. While professional gamers can earn millions of dollars in prize money competing in tournaments, Corinna says the checks she earns from playing on Twitch for fun are more in the three-digit range, even after streaming up to 12 hours a day. It's easy to sort of say, oh, it's just clicking things and, you know, what your 12-year-old does, but especially those guys that are getting $5 million, they spend hours, like eight hours a day, and then they're also playing it at night for fun. As people of all ages turn to virtual reality for their fun at home, this Sac State gamer is looking forward to seeing the evolution of esports post pandemic. I think esports is, is going to be recognized even more than, than it already is very soon.